I'm Julie Klausner. I'm here on Wantaw, Long Island at the Howlabaloo, the world's premier Basset Hound event with my fellow Basset aficionado, Ted Leo. Julie, it is a beautiful day for a Howlabaloo. In addition, we're also here with Spoonie, Chris Spooner, our producer. Hello. Let's go check out some hounds. What's your dog's name? Fred. Is Fred usually this vocal? Yes, all the time. He has very long ears. Do you find that to be an attractive quality yes, in general? They, yes, they feel like velvet. Do you like celebrities that have big ears, like Kate Hudson or Barack Obama? No, not particularly. The Basset breed originated in France, apparently. What is the most French things that your dogs do? Do they like cheese? <laughs> Uh, what do they do that's French? <laughs> they French kiss you. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there's a puppy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. How am I to concentrate? I'm here with Wally Janatowski. Hi, how are you? You're one oh. of, you're the, <laughs> is this how you say hello to people? Yes, I do. Do you ever watch 60 Minutes? Um, Have you ever seen Morley Safer on that show? No. He no. kind of looks like a basset hound. What's your name? Rob. Rob, and what are your dog's names? Uh, Reagan, because he came from China. His Chinese name was Egan, and when we got him, Ronald Reagan had just died, so we called him Reagan. Really? Yes. What was Ronald Reagan's relationship with China back then? It was complicated. I know he was a very good foreign affairs president, but I guess it really doesn't matter. Wow, I didn't know we were getting to foreign policy. I was just telling you the name of my dog. Does Reagan like wearing that hat? Uh, I don't really think so. But it looks really funny on him. It does, it does. What would you say is her best feature, and I will tell you if you're right or wrong. Her best feature is her, uh, her big fat paws. I like you're, them. You're I like right. them. You're right. <laughs> you're right. And this is Lily. This is Lily. Lily is a senior hound. She is. And I understand today at the Howl Blue they're honoring senior hounds. Yes, they are. How old is Lily? Lily's about 14. It's not polite to ask a lady's age. No, it is not, but, but she wears she's it well. a graceful lady. She looks better than Jane Fonda in some ways. She, I feel like Jane Fonda had so much work done that it's just not even fair to compare. This is the longest ears contest part of the day. The tension is palpable. This woman keeps singing. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to the front? Do you think that I can outrun Honey Bee? No, probably not. You're sure about that? Yes. Honey Bee? On your mark, get set. They've just introduced Martha, best known as the Basset Hound from the Tommy Hilfiger ads that are sort of a rip off of the Royal Tenenbaums. Oh my God. How did you get Martha into show business? Martha was discovered at puppy school. She has an agent, all her, tame. Her agent is not a dog. No, her agent isn't a dog, it's a person. Martha, I understand you have a Twitter page. How many followers do you have? <coughs> One. <coughs> 800? No, she, it was just two, I think. Say okay, bye, Martha. Wave to the camera. Oh, he's such a good wave. Good girl. Incredible. Okay, Let's go I... check in with Spoony, who's manning the grill. Thanks, Julie. The Howl of Blue wouldn't be the Howl of Blue without a grill master. I'd like to introduce you to Peter. Peter? Hi. Is this your first Howl Blue at the grill? No, I've been at the grill many years at the Howl Blue. It's amazing. How many, how many hot dogs, how many hamburgers, and how many veggie burgers did you bring today? Uh, we brought 300 hamburgers, 300 hot dogs, and about a dozen veggie burgers for the vet. What's moving the fastest? Hot dogs and hamburgers. Not veggie burgers. So some of them are going to be packed up for next year? No, we'll disperse them at the end of the day to the uh, vegetarians in the crowd as a reward. What's your name? Christina. Christina, and your dog's name is? Lola. And did Lola just enter a contest? Yeah, she did not do very well because she decided to sit. What so. was the contest? To tail wag. Tail wag? Yeah. I thought it was called best butt wiggle. What do you think of Kim Kardashian? Um, Are you done with her? Kind of. <laughs> what about J-Lo? I'm not very into J-Lo. Who cares, but... right? If Christina Aguilera were a breed of dog, what kind of dog would she be? I think she would be like a poodle. That's a great, reason. that's a great answer. <laughs> Can dogs eat these? No, these are not edible. These They're are just for people. For people. What is life like without a basset hound? Lonely. Useless. Yeah. I'm guessing by your shirt that this is Rudy. Yes. Is he drooly? Um, he, he drools like in ropes. He does? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Rudy. Hey, Rudy. Rudy, come on. Hey, Rudy. Hi. Say you think, hi. You think you can outrun me, buddy? Say hi. You want to race, Rudy? You want to race? You want to race? 
Oh, yeah, he went, oh yeah. Attention. Oh, he's saying yeah. yeah. He's saying yeah, he wants to race. You want to race, don't you, Rudy? Ready, set, go. What's your name? Valerie. Valerie, this is Charlie and Delilah. They are both wearing gold medals, I see. What are they the winners of? Uh, Charlie was the longest ears. And he's right under my skirt. She actually has a bronze, and she was uh, the waddle. All I she see is gold. <laughs> She's, he's all, Charlie's also in my microphone cord. We are about to see the boxer hound race. I believe these dogs have underpants on, and um, they are going to race, and hopefully the underpants will stay on. It's my impression. All right, still no dogs are wearing underpants. All right, okay. Oh. All right, one of the dogs does absolutely. Oh, Lucy's got a pair. Of, oh, no, it's off. It's off. Wow. So Lucy clearly won that. Lucy is a puppy. She's wearing a Simpsons pair of boxer okay, shorts. Have, the irony Arthur? is that the male dog I've been looking at all day who needed to be okay, wearing underpants just shook those off right away. I've been challenging a number of dogs to uh, races today, but we're a little, little cramped in this area. I just want to know if you think that Camille can outrun me. Can she outrun you? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to be brutally honest. Never in a million years, okay? <laughs> Thank you. That's I right, Camille. <laughs> We're going to go back over to Spoonie at the grill. Okay, all right. As the competition heats up, the grill cools down. Ashes and embers rise to the sky like the aspirations of a competitor, a champion, an athlete. To live in the sky where dreams reside. Also, it seems that Peter, the grillmeister, is not at the grill right now. Well, that was the 2012 Howlabaloo. We had a great time, we met some dogs, met some interesting people, and I think we learned a lot about ourselves. Until next year, I'm Julie Klausner.